Uh, just from your experience, what are these what are games like this like where you, you know if you win, you win the NCC? Oh, they're big. Uh, the whole program, everybody involved knows what's at stake, especially with a week like this and uh, a great SEC opponent like this in Kentucky. Um, explosive offense, playing well on defense, so everybody knows what has to be done and uh, what we got to do this week. I guess throughout the preseason camp, this is the spot you want to be in. And, and, and you know, do you, does it get talked about at all that, hey, we win this week, we're, we're you know, we got a goal under our belt. Not, not that it gets talked about, but like I said, everybody knows what what we have to do. Um, not like everyone going around saying, uh, it's, you know, it's what we have to do. But everybody mentally knows and in, in individually what we got to do. Are you, you surprised Benny Kentucky's Snell in this spot? Benny Snell. So what, do you, what do you remember about Benny Snell and just the challenge of having to do that? I mean, he's he's a hard runner and tough tough football player for us, uh, foremost. The guy, he loves football. You can, you can see it with the energy he brings every Saturday. So um, he's going to be the, the, the motive and the engine, the engine to that offense uh, coming in Saturday. Who does Benny Snell remind you of? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, he reminds me. I can't say he reminds me of somebody. He's he's a player in his own. You know, uh, the guy just runs hard. He run he runs with a with a purpose, and he knows what um, he knows. Each and every guy on his office lineman, they trust in him, and and they just uh, I like what they got going on over there. In Kentucky. Are you, are you surprised Kentucky's in this spot? No, not surprised at all. Um, even starting off when my, playing in my first time my freshman year. They had a great team, and even last year, um, they've been building, and they're a great program. Well, How do you guys surprised they're, they're playing for the SEC East title? No, not surprised at all. Um, and in, in this conference, it's not a surprise each and every year what, what team comes up. Um, but like I said, we're just going to go in and focus on us and, and, and do what we got to do. Just want to ask you, uh, First off, I didn't get to talk to you after the Florida mm -hmm. game, and that was a great game. So Thanks. just to, how that game ranks in, in the games you've had, obviously, in contribution. But secondary to that, what, what makes you such a good nickel or star and, and, and fit there better than maybe corner or safety? Um, I can say just kind of uh, knowing, knowing the defense, first and foremost, in that position. you got to know our defense and, uh, and, and be willing to get physical. And um, I don't have any trouble or problem with uh, – Playing in, inside the box or, or in coverage at all, so and I um, think the trust of Coach Martin, Coach Tuck having me um, to play that position um, just shows as well. What about the Florida game? Was that uh, how's that rank on your personal accomplishments uh, list? You know, yeah, I haven't ranked it uh, personally, but uh, it was it's, it's, it's a big game. It was a big game, and um, I feel like I helped my team the best way I could. What specifically w. can you guys do to improve the missed tackles? Uh, just like I said, in practice, just in practice, focusing on tackle. Uh, and secondary, just secondary tackle as well. Um, we're just important as the front, you know, the front guys up there. So uh, just working on getting better tackling in practice and, um, and just going in and doing it Saturday. Terry, um, how much more difficult is it to go against offense and also as a running quarterback to, to complement Snell? Just how much more does that complicate things for you guys on defense? It's very, it's, it's, it's difficult, but it, like I, it's, it's not nothing we can't handle. Um, he, the quarterback, he, he can run the ball just as good as the running back. He's like a second running back to them. Um, we're just gonna have to. Uh, Keep everything, and everybody got to play their gaps. Uh, make sure we keep them in the pocket. You know what I'm saying, and just do everything we can to hold hold that that running game to a, to a minimum. Same. Um, we were there talking to Rodrigo about his, his game he had at Kentucky two years ago, and he had the kick to end it. Um, can you kind of take me through what you recall from that? What the ambiance was like after he, he made that field goal to win that game? Uh, Kentucky. Oh yeah, Rod, that was a big kick to. Uh, in the, in a, a heck of a stadium with a great crowd like Kentucky, uh, and when Rod hit that, that, that was you know that I can't I think that started Rod you know kind of his fame you know what, I'm saying? <laughs> what he had going for him. But Rod always pulled through for us, and, and I'm not surprised that he made it. How much confidence do you have? I mean, see now, the point now you just on, yeah, almost he, think he's it, automatic. Yeah, now. he's automatic. You know, Rod doesn't. I, I'd be surprised if he ever missed one of those. Like the guy, the guy is he's clutch, <laughs> um, and we're just happy to have him. You have a kicker and a weapon like that, special team, that's big. How, have you tried on his glasses at all? <laughs> I haven't tried them on. I don't know if I'll be able to see through them. But, uh, if you let me try, I'll be happy. It'd be an honor to try <laughs> goggles. So you mentioned your physicality is something that you think makes you a good fit for the star. Uh, Coach Smart has got a lot of Coach Campbell at Peach County for right. physicality that you'll have. How much of that mold you uh, Coach Campbell back at Peach County, he, he, he's the big uh, uh, reason uh, my physicality every day, no matter what day it is. It's going to be day before a game. We got on pads, hitting, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's, that's good for young players um, coming up into a, uh, especially a conference like this, a very physical conference. And, um, and the defense we play, I think Coach Campbell uh, molded me well. What were some of the better things that came out of the Florida win? 
Um, I think uh, on a defense standpoint, every every guy didn't try to be a superhero or be a super uh, some something they weren't. Everybody did their job. Um, once you do that, you get all eleven guys doing what they got to do individually. You have a, a better defensive play and um, a better team play. Did you hit a new level? Y'all were kind of the team that believed in itself, and, and y'all accomplished a lot. This year, Kentucky, they've been left for dead in a couple of these games, and they keep finding ways to win. How dangerous is it when you play a team that believes in itself? Yeah, well, a team that has uh, you know, belief in themselves, first and foremost, uh, they're a very dangerous team. And their head coach, uh, I think it starts with him. He, he got those guys you know, believing in what, what they have going on. And I think uh, it shows what they have, their, their record and how they played, um, pulling out the win, even pulling out the win last Saturday against Mizzou. So anytime you're playing a team like that, uh, they're very dangerous. Tyreek, how much more rewarding was that Florida performance for you, especially the, the injury and stuff he's dealt with early in the season? Uh, it was very rewarding uh, being able to come out here with my teammates. Um, I think that's what every player dreams of, uh, and you help them early and, uh, and create turnovers for their defense and uh, get the ball back to our offense. My offense. So uh, it felt good you know, being back and uh, putting up some production for our team. How did you break your foot in practice? What happened? Uh, I, I honestly don't even know when it happened. I just felt the sharp pain in it. Uh, got with the trainers and then um, they kind of checked it out and it, it came out that I had an injured foot. Was it an injury you had last season too? Um, I did have an injury last season, but it wasn't that. It was just kind of an injury. I, it came out of nowhere, honestly. You know, it was kind of an injury I had to deal with. You're not the uh, biggest dude in the world, all due respect, but yes, but you play physical and you play a physical position. What what allows you to be able to do that beyond physics, you know? Um, I think it's just kind of a mentality. Um, and like Coach Smart, you bring, if you have a mentality, first and foremost, that, that's that's kind of 90% of the battle, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the other 10 is, no, is up, up to you. But um, I think kind of where I brought up, I was brought up and just kind of where I made myself um, – I just feel like you bring the physicality in your mind first, the physical part would be easy. Twitter video that Mark pointed out earlier of uh, Coach Smart celebrating with his visor turned upside down. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, with the yeast. Yeah, Coach Smart be getting down. He, he, <laughs> he got mad because we didn't start off doing it when he first came in the locker room. But, uh, yeah, that's my guy. He knows when to have fun and he knows when to be serious. Uh, but that was fun after a great win against Florida. So what's that do for the players? Oh, uh, it, it's just lesser knows at the end of the day, he's a guy just like us, and he's – and he's a, a Georgia guy. He played here. Um, he loves his team. He loves his university just as much as we do. And I think that's big, you know what I'm saying, from a head coach to his team. The, uh, the first playoff rankings come out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Is that something you, you all are, you're aware of or are paying attention not to? Not at all. Um, not at all. We're, we're focusing on Kentucky. And that's, that's, that's first and, and most important right now. And um, anything that goes on, you know, like I said, like Coach Smart said, uh, control what you can control. Anything else, you know, it, let the chips fall with it, man. And is that partly because you know if you keep winning, you'll get Of course. You if you handle your business, everything else will fall in place. Tyreek, you heard me mention that the running backs you credit with dog yards, you yeah. know, right. with real of contact. So I was just wondering how much do you see them work on that in practice? How much of that something that's emphasized? Uh, just in team, our team runs and everything we do, you can see uh, they, they want it to, uh, to translate to Saturday. So our practice is almost like a game. Um, our, our running backs fighting for extra yards, or even us just third tackling, just being, trying to uh, simulate the game the best way we can, and it shows off. With third tackling, like how much is that something that can be worked on in practice versus just an everything? You um, of course, you want to take care of your guys in practice, but you also want to be physical and, and get that feel and uh, third your guy, and, and you third to get ready for uh, opposing running back. Uh, like we do Kentucky on uh, Saturday, so uh, it, it helps with defense and offense. So that's that's a big part of it, I think. Why, uh, Terry? Uh, in addition to when you were right coming back from injury, you also kind of had to re-earn your role as, right. as the star. Just d during that time, just what, what kind of was your mentality? Just kind of just like when your job back. Just, just helping the team any way I can. Not so much of, uh, from a personal standpoint, but any, anything that helps the team, it, I think it will benefit me at the end of the day. So if you go in with that with that mindset, I think. Uh, it paid, paid off for me and uh, the team as well. Time for more.